All right, guys, I got a game plan on the new patch, one to go over some things. Uh, my opponent actually and I were both kind of testing uh, some of the things out about this uh, about this this most recent uh, patch. So I wanted to go over this video with you guys. If you guys want to get my uh, ebooks that I was running in this, you can get everything on the Patreon. Ten bucks gets you access to all ebooks and all updates. And again, this is just uh, footage from the most recent patch update. Now, um, this patch was really really important. EA was trying to you know kind of fix the game in a lot of ways. This probably the biggest patch that we're going to get and i really want to go over this gameplay because i played a pretty decent little opponent here let me see if i can get to the actual game i thought it just saved the gameplay um so this was the first game i played um you'll see here uh this play right here is a really good example so i was just running over storm brave i just wanted to test this out um and what you'll see here on the right you see here the running back does block him but he gets an instant shed the instant sheds are still in the game edge threat has just become the most important ability in the game and then i matched up against this guy i've seen him in some comp stuff so i'm not sure exactly who he is um i'm sure he was just testing the patch out he actually had carmichael which is one of the main reasons why i wanted to use this film um i was just using kind of my basic team because i just wanted to get a game in real quick because i wanted to test out uh ags was the main thing and that was the theme of my offense now please hear me loud and clear i was testing out ags okay i wasn't actually really running offense i was just trying to throw aggressive catches to see how consistent they were you'll see in this game uh kind of i want to drive home the point of the biggest issue in madden 23 is the aggressive catch and we're going to see that in this game they now gave us the ability to be able to pick up a lot of the blitzes in the game which is great the problem is now the ags are back okay they're not just back but they're uh, even more so powerful than they were before we're heading to a coverage year if they're not careful. The problem is zone's not that good. Okay? So you can't just play zone, and you're going to see that in these clips. So, again, just for – literally, this is the offense right here. This is the best offense in the game. Watch what I'm about to do to him. Four streaks, this motion snap streak, high ball, pass lead outside, and he does get an animation. He gets a swat. So, at first, I'm thinking, crap, I'm going to have to actually, like, try because I know this guy's decent, right? Now, he's running the loop. You're going to notice that the loop's probably never going to come in. Uh, PA counter goes back. The, the play action blocking is, is pretty much fixed. Really like where we're at with that. Um, but what you'll see here, boom, he can't animate, and we're off. And that's literally the biggest issue in Madden right now. That is the biggest issue in Madden right now. He has to fix this stuff. This is insane. If they don't fix this, which they probably won't, in the tournament for thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, people are going to run this offense and they are going to moss them every single time. Again, there we go. Tip catch. Almost caught it. They did fix the tip stuff. Um, and he has deep out zone KO over there. So he's got, that's why I was like checking, okay, what's he got? He's got deep out KO. Um, you'll notice his edge threat will not activate because I want him play action plays. Edge threats don't work very well against play action, in case you didn't know that. One of the other reasons why Trips tied in is so good. Here, I don't know what I'm actually doing here. I think I was just, I don't know what I was calling here. I think four streaks again. I think I wanted to try to throw the seam. I'm just trying to throw streaks and just see. So here, um, that was just kind of a love. I was kind of a bad route because of spacing. You want the outside guy on the streak. But anyway, you'll see here. I'm going to go to the C route. Um, the C route is really good. So you got four streaks. He's got to put zones over there. And this is the problem. Now you're going to have a wide open C route because they can't put the amount. They got to put so much respect to the middle of the field for your seam streaks. Okay. Now I'm going to jump on defense and show you some clips from what I was doing. Uh, first thing I want to show you was Big Nickel over G. I got a text uh, saying I put a video out on this. So you're going to see I'm going to go out and nickel over, but I will come out and Big Nickel over G, and I'll show you the safeties are still a problem. I think the first drive I was just trying to see some stuff. I, I was hoping he would ag. Here he's going to throw the verticals wheel, I'm pretty sure. Um, I was hoping he would try to ag me. So there's the wheel. Now, what I like about that is that's still open, but you can at least make the tackle there. What I've played a lot of players where literally your guy will just bug out. So hopefully that's back where, like, I'm okay with them being able to throw it for us a quick pass. I'm just not okay with them being able to catch it for, um, you know, and then and then miss the tackle. Um, you see Nickel over is still really powerful defense. We're going to talk about big Nickel over G in just a minute because I do think it's one of the biggest issues still in the game that they really need to fix um, because they literally eliminate a formation from being able to be ran because it's bugged out of its mind. Uh, we'll show that in a minute. I think nickel triple actually is going to be one of the better defenses out of this new meta. Um, they're under pressure, bag him. Yeah, the C route wide open. So he's going to go for it. He's going to, the other thing I like, um, I feel like this game, Phil, I'm trying to think how to explain it. 
like the blitzes and really just the player movement, I just feel like it was slower. Um, that could just be me, but I feel like they kind of slowed the game down a little bit, so that'll be interesting. Um, there's under pressure, both activating. Uh, also, by the way, he motion block. I just want you to look at the snap of the ball here. You're going to notice probably something fairly interesting right here. So we get pressure off the right edge. So he's blocking six, right? We're sitting six. We get instant pressure off both edges. So they really fix blocking, okay? So you see there, I mean, we're still able to blitz the crib. And then offensively, uh, I'm going to add his life away now because I'm, like, kind of in more control of the game. So I'm going to start experimenting a little bit more, especially on defense. Um, I kind of saw what I wanted to see on that. And, again, this was just a lab game. I'm not. I'm sure he's labbing as well, um, trying to figure out this new patch. I just wanted to see how the ags were playing. And that's about, that's about all you need to see. I mean, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to be hard to stop. Okay? So you can ag their life away. I think I go for two here. Uh, I do get an inaccurate on the wheel. Actually, maybe it's the next play. So this should be the drive that I show Big Nickel over G, which is the biggest issue I still think is in the game. Um, ags are an issue. And then the other, the close second is Big Nickel over G. Sh because Big Nickel over G is the only formation that has match coverage, it's also probably the best formation to blitz out of now because of their most recent update. You see my safeties flip. Let me show it again. I turn auto flip off and I flip the formation to try to prove it. They flip. This is a game after patch. And they're flipping. Now he tries to ag me with Carmichael. Notice that is interesting. So his 6'8 guy can't really ag me. But my guy can ag him. Now part of that's because I'm running zone. So you see now if I don't flip big nickel over G, guess what? It works right. Okay. You see, there's the sheds, really nice sheds. He's throwing a one-on-one -on -one ag. I'm not clicking on. And we actually catch a tip pick. So, okay, cool. I think that's good. Um, Carmichael, you know, I think some of it, though, he didn't really, like, he didn't throw anything. You know, he wasn't throwing them. The, the, he wasn't using, like, the method, if you will, for agging. Um, so that's just something to think about. Okay, so you see Nick Lover pick up the blitz, moss his life away, you know, and eventually... I'll do it a couple more times. You'll see here. I mean, look how consistent. Look how consistent this is. Can't catch me. And we're out. I mean, this is this is the new meta. It doesn't have to be at a trip side in. You can do it out of anything. It's just putting a streak on the field. You wait for the guy to turn his back. Um, and that means he's not going to animate when you throw a high ball. You can high ball it outside or inside based on leverage. Or you just go high ball, shame. If they click on, it's going to be a long game. Best counter that I've seen to this is not clicking on. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more, make sure you get our updates, ebooks, all that stuff's on the Patreon. Ten bucks get you access to everything. Wanted to share just a little gameplay real quick as I get into more of this patch. And hope you guys enjoy some of these quick update videos that I've been doing uh, to kind of just get the information out there quickly to you guys about what has changed in Madden.